Happy Thursday, folks. Anthony Special here with Special Analysis, unedited and on the edge of the market. Welcome back for another video blog edition. So today, uh, we're going to cover something a little bit different. Many of you may be aware of this, many of you may not be aware of this, but there are different sectors within the market. I'm sure that is not something you have not heard of before. But there is also ETFs which have grouped these individual sectors. So what that means, rather than having to pick the perfect oil stock, you can buy an ETF that represents the entire sector. Or rather than picking a particular tech stock and hoping that that's the winner, you can buy the whole sector by buying the ETF. So we're going to dive in to these different 11 sectors today. Uh, I'm going to try not to spend too much time on each and every one of them, only because it'll consume a lot of time. Um, but I want you to have a quick look on how you can access every corner of the market by just looking at 11 tickers. Let's get started. All right, first up is the ticker XLF. That is XLF, and this is the sector spider fund for the financial sector. So what do we have here? Simply put, you can see how the market is moving, where it's finding support, where it's finding resistance by just simply looking at a couple channel structures here. So big picture, big uptrend, right? Then we have a tightening uptrend. But what have we had? We've basically had the sector roll over. Now, where are we test? What did we recently test it? And this is key, guys. The reason I'm doing this is so that we have some insight to the big picture. So I'm going to just take this line off for now. But what did we just test here? Come within a percent or so of testing. Support. That's right. This is support. Now, what does this mean? Is this a relief rally? Maybe. Short covering? Maybe. Does this go lower? Maybe. We don't know. This has not offered us any actionable information yet. But this settlement here offered us the opportunity to short it towards this section here. At the moment, we have tested good support. We have bounced from it. Do we go higher from here? It's possible. Do we sit tight from here? Also possible. Do we go lower? Not without confirmation. So we're going to have to wait and see. But you can get a picture of the entire financial sector without having to pick Wells Fargo or JP Morgan or Bank of America or Morgan Stanley, whatever. You get the entire sector in one ETF. And many of you may not even be aware of these. So if you like the financial sector, here you go. The XLF serves the financial sector very well. Next up, XLE. This is the energy sector. You can see Big, big downtrend leading us into the COVID-19 sell-off. And then we had a nice uptrend recovering from the COVID sell-off. You can see we are breaking out to the upside. So this indicates we will likely go higher. Um, so what does that tell us about the overall energy sector? Big picture. Big picture. The likeliness is this market grinds higher. Does it happen today? Not necessarily. But could it happen very soon? It, yes, it could. So... WTI is something that I personally trade. It's been coiling for quite a while. Um, as soon as that coil snaps and breaks, the likeliness is we are going to trend higher to the upside. So we're excited to see that transpire. But you could see instead of picking Exxon or Chevron or Valero or Conoco or whatever, you can come right here. XLE gives you exposure to the entire sector instead of nitpicking stock for stock. Next up, XLV, which... Oh, too many fingers there. XLV, which is the healthcare sector. Obviously, you're aware the healthcare sector has been in quite a run. Why has the healthcare sector been in quite a run? Well, that's pretty simple. We just suffered um, a pandemic, if you would. So we got a couple different trend lines here we can work off of. Let me adjust this a little bit here. So you can see that we're working this up channel here. Along our way, um, you know, you can see we're starting to fumble. We're starting to break it ever so slightly. We'll see what happens. But we have good support down below. We have obviously resistance above. We have now tested that several times. You can see we've come in. Let me just adjust that real quick. There you go. So we've come in and we have now touched this area here. Several times we have found resistance uh, within this one, the mid-140s. So we know that that's kind of the height here for it. We'd have to break above that 
to go much higher. So typically what we find is a channel followed by a channel extension. So you could see that this channel was formed and then this extension was then completed. So of course, on the back end of a pandemic, you would think that the healthcare sector performed strongly and sure enough, it certainly has. But rather than picking a healthcare group or picking uh, a hospital group or picking, you know, whatever portion of the sector, you can have great exposure to it right here. Now, if you want to trade, trade it or own this in a portfolio, that's great. If you want to trade the options, meaning you want to short -term, shorter term play these, that is an option as well. So there's a lot of different ways you can attack this. Next up, utilities, XLU. Just a couple large upstream structures here. You can see this has just been dredging higher. Even the COVID sell-off. It just popped and then it resumed its uptrend. It's been uptrending now since 2002. It's here, it's here to stay. Um, just tested support right here, you can see, fell over. It's been holding thus far and we'll see if it pushes higher. But this has just been a, uh, what you could call a grinder. It just keeps grinding higher, nothing stops it. Um, at least not at the moment. XLI, industrials, take another look. Bottom left, top right, you can see big picture. This is still grinding forward. We have two separate structures. We are just testing support right here. We broke it. We've come back to it. We'll see where we settle at the end of this month. But you can see great resistance here. Resistance, resistance. I mean, you know, for several months in a row, it literally just held this price action. How could we have determined the top of the market? Well, by looking at these 11 sectors, the ones that we were able to see that they were finding resistance... That could tell you everything you needed to know. So that's why this is so important for me to share this with you. A, it makes your life simpler instead of trying to pick individual stocks. If you want sector exposure, it's already built for you. But the other side of it is looking at the big picture of the market. This does tell. It's very telling for the overall sector. XLC is up next. This is the communication sector. You can see this has rolled over fairly aggressively. I did not draw this one out. My apologies. But again, it's easy enough to see, you know, strong uptrend, clearly broken through, and then now we have entered a downtrend. So very obvious, this is trended up, the communication sector, and now it is struggling like the rest of the market. So it'll be interesting to see, uh, you know, what transpires. This uh, ETF is not as old as many of the other ones, so uh, there's not as much data. But with that said, it's still easy to identify this. Um, we could shorten the time frame to a weekly chart and obviously get a little more into the, the weeds of it all. Um, but with that said, interesting thought process along the lines here uh, of what we have going on. Now, get a little creative and just see if we have some type of support along the way here. And if we go like this, you can see uptrend downtrend here is an area where the buyers and sellers exchange the change of power testing support so i before i drew the line i could just see the chart and go man something here looks like uh there's a reason why price is stalling where it is currently because it's entered an area of support so if this holds market goes higher it breaks market goes lower at least for this sector XLB materials, again, big, big uptrend, couple different channel structures, but everything pointing from the bottom left to the top right. But what are we encountering? We encountered resistance. You can see we encountered resistance on the blue channel. We encountered it on the black channel as well. And we are basically grinding sideways at the moment. Uh, not, not dumping off. And if we do, there's some support below, but you know, we're, we're just kind of hovering around here at the moment. We're in a, a, a little bit of a stalling, period but um you know we've all discussed it and we're all aware that you know the price of materials and the availability and the supply line is awfully uh you know has certainly been um an issue to say that the very least but these are again very very big pictures so that you have an idea of the overall move 
XLRE. Again, uh, an ETF that has not been around very, very long, but this is for the real estate sector. Uh, that's right, there's a re based, uh, no, I shouldn't say re, an ETF based around the real estate sector. Um, so rather than having to pick the right re, uh, real estate investment trust, you can pick the overall sector. If you believe the real estate market is going higher, this is a great stock to buy. If you believe the real estate market is going lower, this is a great stock to sell or short. Again, all of these are available in the options market, so it's not like you can't uh, utilize them in different manners. But you can see, um, we'll see where we settle this month, but you can see we're, we're breaking through. You know, we've fallen through some uh, support here. We've fallen through some support here. Perhaps we have a little lower to go. Do we know for sure? Not yet. We wait for a confirmation. We instill the trade plan. We get to work. But... With that said, I just wanted to show you guys what's trending and what's rolling over. Just two quick more ones left, XLK. This is technology. Why does it not surprise us that the technology sector is rolling over? Look at any tech play. Facebook, Amazon, Google, uh, Netflix, you, you name them. Um, but if you wanted exposure to all of them, instead of having to pick the one particular one, you wanted to just pool the sector together, you could buy technology by buying the XLK. You could see we were trending up nicely. Boom, we got that COVID spike, and now we've started to reverse and come down. Just recently tested a little bit of support here and pushed the price back up, but we have closed below that, that blue channel there. So this could very well go lower from where we currently stand. Last but not least, the XLY. This is the consumer discretionary. What is going on here? You can see, um, listen, you know, we, we back, the, the consumer's been spending money for many, many years on the back of the Great Recession, 2008, 2009. You can see that's where I formed the structure off of that low. Here is the COVID low. And all that pent up energy and all that money that people had sitting in their savings account from sitting home for 12 to 18 months and, and playing Scrabble and Monopoly and all that stuff. They didn't travel. They didn't go out to dinner. They didn't buy stuff. They didn't, they didn't go places. They didn't do things. So they had all this money left over. Then the government pumped even more money in. They gave businesses money. They gave employees money. They gave not employees money. They even gave illegal people money. They gave money to everybody. So what, what happened? Everybody came out of their COVID cocoon and boom, they spent tons and tons and tons of money. And now what's happening? It's starting to dry up. When the well dries up, price is going to start to fall. So we're just breaking this area of support here. We'll see if it goes lower. So that is the 11 sectors of the market in a nutshell, essentially, in this entire video. I want to take a moment, share this with you, go through each and every one of them. I only offered you a very, very macro view of them. Obviously, if we dial them down to weekly and daily charts, we could get into the intricacies of trading them. This is just big picture moves. I just want you guys to see that by picking a particular fund, you're able to get exposure to an entire sector of the market without having to pick the proper stock. The fund will pick the stocks uh, appropriately and proportionately. This way the fund performs well. But you have access to every corner of the market in these 11 tickers. So I want to share this with you today because A, it's super exciting. B, you should know what's going on. And this is the easiest way to see it without hunting through the entire market. These 11 tickers will tell you everything you need to know. I encourage you to keep them on your radar. I encourage you to look at them often. It will give you some awesome insight. So with that, as always, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it slightly entertaining, a little bit informational, and you could be so kind to the below it, like it, share it, subscribe to it. Uh, I greatly appreciate that. I'm here to do this completely for free, 100% for free for you and for as many folks as we can share it with so that others have the opportunity to enter this marketplace and do extraordinarily well because there's no reason not to. So with that, I wish you a beautiful and blessed evening. I will absolutely positively talk to you tomorrow and I hope you guys are getting all geared up for your Memorial Day weekend. I will talk to you soon.